Have you ever heard of Power Query metadata? No, up until recently, nor had I really. But a while back, I saw a video by Chandeep on Goodly Channel um, and saw this cool thing and I was like, oh, that's cool, but you know, it's very nerdy and I'm never going to need that. And then just last week, a requirement came up and I thought, maybe this will solve it. This is very niche, but quite cool if you're into the Power Query nerdiness. All right, let's go. So the scenario was that somebody wanted to filter data, they had a big table, they wanted to filter it for numerous fields, but they wanted to know how many records were left at each filtering stage. Um, and then this technique that I saw popped into my mind and I thought, hmm, maybe that's, maybe that's the way forward. And I've also got to give a shout out, um, just have a look, um, Abe Gadia, I'll put a link to his channel. Um, because I followed his steps about how to do some of this stuff. Really useful. Okay, so I've loaded this table already. Let me press Alt F12 just to go in to Power Query. All right, so I started with that table of data. I just pulled it in. I then filtered for blood group AB negative. Okay, just applied a filter on that one. And I filtered for people whose height is less than 170 centimeters. And I did a filter and I just renamed the step. So filtered for WA in terms of state. So I've done three filters. All right, so that was it. Now here comes the clever bit. I wanna know how many records there were at each stage here. So under the advanced editor, this is the magic little bit. All right, so there's my basic query and I've got this green text. So let me show you what happens here. I'm just gonna, the green text is just commented code. So I'm gonna reestablish this. Okay, and I'm gonna comment out that little last step. So this is putting square brackets, which basically turns this whole thing into a record. This whole thing's a bit bizarre, right? I'm still getting my head around it. Um, this is just saying, okay, my query steps spit out the last step. Okay, return that record. And this magic bit, give me the meta. And then you say of query steps, which is the name of this. But you just give this thing a name, meta reference. I'll put this code in the description below and I'll share this file, okay? So that's the, that's the pattern. This is the thing, okay? This is the name of this. This is the name of your last step. And then this is the name of this as well. And you're giving this record type of thing a reference, meta reference. We can call it whatever you want. You could call it, you know, Arthur. It doesn't matter. Um, all right, so what happens now? Well, watch this. Oh, by the way, I'm just going to show you this. Notice before I click done, you can see all the applied steps individually. As soon as I click done, The final record still returned, but all the steps disappear. That's, I, you know, I don't want to use this very often. It, it, I don't like that, um, but it is what it is. So then if you right click this and reference it, okay, and then at the start, you type the word meta. There we go, value.metadata. Do the shift shuffle, so shift down, Shift nine, okay, go to the end, press enter. There's the meta reference. That's whatever you called it, could have been Arthur, right? So that's, and I could then click on this. And now here, if I click to the right of it, that's the table at source step. This is the table at filter AB. So the query is now being broken down into the separate tables. So I'm going to turn that into a table and then going to add a column, custom column, called number of records. And it's basically a row count, row, there we go, T 
table row count. Open the bracket. Double click on value. So remember, just looking at this, value is the name of that column with each individual table in. Close the bracket. Click OK. And there we go. We started with 30,000 records. We filtered it down to 127 people with AB negative. We then filtered it down to 60 people who are less than AB negative and less than 170 centimeters and down to seven people. Okay, so this is the filtered count. It's pretty cool. All right, you don't really need this column. Right click, remove. Um, you know, the thing that isn't great about this solution is this filtered rows. If I go back to the home advanced editor, okay, so let's say you do want all the steps back. So I'm just going to comment out this first one. You know, I don't like this, is not nice. Comment out that, bring that one back in, okay, and you click done. So there's all your steps back as we used to, but then this filtered count errors out. Um, I'm, if anybody knows of a, a, a neater way of doing that, please leave a comment below. But it's pretty cool. So let me bring that up one last time on the screen. The green bit is the bit you need to add. All right. What do you think? That's pretty cool. Again, thanks to Abe, thanks to Goodly, Chandeep. Um, really good. Quite a funky little hack. All right, catch you in the next video. Before you go, check out one of my other videos or playlists and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.